Drama on the final day for rally leader Seb Ogier. Is the tailgate missing? The tailgate's missing on this car. Ogier's been off. He's lost the back of the car. Let's have a look what happened here. Yeah, we've just clipped something. Very slow speed, but it's enough. 8.6 seconds quicker than anyone else through there, though, despite losing the spoiler and the rear tailgate. What happened? Uh, I just went like in a fresh, fresh, flip a little bit of tree, and I'm very surprised, to be honest. Didn't expect that. Despite the dust now swirling around inside the Yaris, he and Vincent Landé were 8.1 seconds quicker than Kalarov and Pera on stage 15. With a makeshift fix, a bin liner and balaclavas getting them through the morning loop with their lead still intact. Rovenpera hadn't given up hope of winning, but was struggling with understeer. Can I then? Oh, oh. We had a big slide and then it, 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 it basically it came back. It was quite <laughs> to be, be driving on us. It, it doesn't work out. I'm understeering a lot and then uh, moments like this happened. I need to push to the ruts too much. Hyundai were battling mechanical issues again. Cherry Nerville's brake cooling duct was hanging loose, while Esapeka Lappi was limping along with only front wheel drive after damaging a third prop shaft of the week. Danny Sordo was hanging on to fifth place, but battling a lack of power steering on some of the most brutal stages of the season, which left him exhausted. The penultimate stage is Osseri, meaning peaceful in Masai. But for the Toyota drivers, it was anything but. Set for an historic repeat of their 1, 2, 3, 4 finish in 2022, all suffered as the Yaris's scooped up the fesh fair, causing water and oil temperatures to rise and the crews to be covered in dirt. Proper safari in the, in the deep sand, really, really deep ruts. I just tried to go through, we are fully in the gravel in the car, so let's see what we can do with the power set. The mud beard suits you, it's looking good mate. Thanks. They all survived, just, but it was a stressful warm-up for the Wolf Power stage, which would begin with Seb Ogier leading by 9.2 seconds. A return to the fearsome Hell's Gate did not daunt Thierry Nerville, recovering maximum points from the Wolf Power stage to minimise the damage done in his championship challenge this weekend, with Oitanek following suit in second place. But all eyes were on the fight for victory. Ogier surviving a smashed windscreen to survive by 6.7 seconds in the closest ever finish to the Safari Rally Kenya. Unbelievable. Look at that, even on the power stage I got a stone on the windscreen. I think uh, I had a lot of issues to face this weekend, but uh, it should, could have been a much more comfortable race for us in terms of pace. We had a really good pace, but a lot of misfortune, but I'm happy that we bring it home. Ralph and Perry gave it everything, but remaining philosophical about his season. A bit disappointing, any end to the weekend. Um, you always want to fight for the win, but uh, good points for the, for the season anyway. So Ogier leads an incredible top four finish for Toyota, with Sordo fifth ahead of Tanak, Lube and Nerville. Robin Perra now leading the championship by 37 points over Nerville, heading into the next event on the gravel of Estonia.